So we're going to start off today looking at uh, this area of model puzzle sheet. I have filled out the front and I will make sure I post a picture of this on Classroom later so you guys can check your work. In order for us to do some of the work on the back where the exponents come in, we need to do some exponent rule work. Now, I have this mini book. There is a main part of this that is what our work is going to be involving today. And that is <clears throat> right down here. If you've got a base that's the same with two different exponents, you're going to add those exponents. So we'll come back to this. I want to just start us off by making a mini book. So find a piece of paper. It doesn't have, to, I just happened to pull some blue ones out. You guys remember we need to fold this into eighths. So I folded it in half half again and one more time and because 2 to the third power is 8 when we do our halves three times we're getting eight sections before I cut I want to just remind you guys what we're cutting is in the middle part here so I'm going to keep that closed and we're only going to cut one of the sections like that. And then you can put together your mini book like so. And we're not gonna take the time in the video right now to take the notes on my book. I will post some pictures of it and I've got a video I recorded last year that I can put on for you guys to see. But for right now, we're gonna move to trying to complete this paper. Another piece of notes that's in here is that there is an invisible one alert. We know we like our invisible ones. So if, let's just do a quick review of um, exponents. This is called the base. Here's the exponent. The entire thing together is called a power. And as you guys know, the exponent tells us how many times we multiply the base. What's often not talked about until this level of math is that everything has an exponent. If it's, an, if it's not there, it's an exponent of one. That becomes important when we start looking at these here because both of these have an exponent of one with them. So this is eight X to the first power and negative three X to the first power. Now, because they're both an X, they are like bases, and we're going to add those two numbers together. So we're going to multiply the coefficient, so we get negative 24 X squared, because we added these two. That means if this here is X to the fifth, and this is an X, this has to be something that has an X to the fourth. Sorry, there's my dog. <laughs> um, so what are we going to have here? We have to have a negative number that when it's multiplied by 2, we get negative 36. So this would be negative 18x to the fourth. I'm going to do a couple more with you, and then I'm going to let you guys try to puzzle some of these out on your own. And I will post again pictures of the answers later so that you... Um, will have access to trying to reframe your thinking. Let's go ahead and do this one here together. I have positive three and negative five, so when I multiply those, I get negative 15. Both x's don't have a visible exponent, so that means that they are both x to the first power, and when I add them, I get x squared. If you notice this x here, it's just an x. That means whatever's up in this box doesn't have an X because this X is coming from over here. So this is gonna be a negative four. So look for the pictures. I will post pictures of the notes that are in this mini book. I will post pictures of my answers to both of these, both sides. And hopefully you guys can create your own mini book and get some notes taken. Um, and if you have any questions, please email me.